Hello learners, welcome to NIOS. We will study last part of the lesson number 16. In this, we will going to learn about intramural competitions. Learners, the word intramural is a combination of two Latin words. The first one is intra and the second one is murus. Intra means within and murus means wall, which make the meaning of intramural is within the wall. So, the intramural activities are those which are conducted or organized within the wall of a particular institution for their particular players. The objective of intramural competitions are to provide opportunities to every student to participate in games and sports. The second objective we can say uh, to develop the feeling of sportsmanship. The third objective will be to provide the opportunity to develop personality. And the last but not least to provide atmosphere for joy and refreshment. Now we are going to know about extramural competitions which means outside the wall of an institution. So the extramural competitions are conducted between the players or teams of two or more institutions. In such competitions selected players represent their institution in a particular game or sport in order to show their skills and bring honor to their institutions. Examples of such extramural competitions are inter-schools, inter-collegiate, inter-district, state, national and international level competitions. Here on your screen you can see objectives of extramural competitions are there. The first objective you can see to improve the standard of sports. The second objective to provide the knowledge of new rules and advanced technique, to provide experience to students, to encourage social interaction amongst the team. What could be the procedure to organize a particular tournament? Dear learners, have you ever participated in any tournament? The organizing and conducting part of a tournament involves lots of planning and preparation. The assistance and cooperation of several individuals is required for the successful and smooth conduct of the tournament. There are some important points which we should keep in our mind while planning to organize a tournament. When we are going to uh, plan a tournament, then we have to look for the suitable month and date to hold a tournament, approximate number of participants, the second point of consideration. The third will be selection of sporting events we are planning to include in that tournament, selection and ability of the chief guest for prize distribution. We have to assure uh, which kind of uh, to whom we have to invite in as a chief guest for prize distribution, ability of the finance required for the purchase of prizes, refreshment and other uh, required materials, kind of prizes to be purchased, identification of special invitees and their approximate number. These all points uh, should be settled at the level of the head of the institution with the consultation of head of physical education and sports department. The work involved in the organization and the conduct of the tournament could be divided under three heads, uh, which could be uh, pre-tournament works, a preparation, during tournament work, a preparation, post-tournament work. Let us start with pre-tournament preparation. In pre-tournament preparation, there shall be an organizing committee which shall be responsible for the successful and smooth conduct of the tournament. So, we can constitute subcommittees which will work under the uh, organizing committee. Uh, the subcommittees could be a committee for publicity and media coverage, committee for ground maintenance and equipment, committee for officials, committee for accommodation and seating arrangement. Committee for reception, committee for decoration and ceremonies, committee for purchase of trophies and awards. You can create some other committees also like uh, refreshment and entertainment committee, entries and program committee, maintaining the discipline committee. There are lots of options you can opt uh, uh, based on the resources available with you. What we have to do when the day of the particular uh, tournament is there? On the day of the competition, all the officials and the competitors should ask to report well before the commencement of the event. Then the officials are given the copies of the fixture and the concerned 
score and record sheet. The competitors shall receive their chess numbers, program copies and necessary instructions. The tournament then be started with an opening ceremony which usually consists of the march past of players, salute taking by the chief guest, declaration of opening of the tournament by the chief guest, unfurling of the flag, oath taking by the players as well as officials, releasing of balloons and pigeons etc. Lots of activities we can uh, perform while we are going to uh, inaugurate a particular competition or tournament. Then the matches shall be conducted according to the program, the program which we have uh, discussed, the pro here the program means the fixture which we have discussed in this uh, in the second part of this particular topic. After the conduct of all the matches as per the program, all the competitors shall assemble for the closing function, then the presentations of the trophies, certificate etc. shall be take place with the singing of national anthem, lowering of flag, declaration of closing the tournament by the chief guest, handing over flag to the chief guest by the guard of honor. The chief guest hand over the flag to the head of the institution, uh, physical education uh, teacher in particular school for keeping it under the safe custody till the next tournament. This is the end process of the tournament. Now what is the post tournament work? What we have to do when the tournament? are over. First, we have to check the departing team, refund security money. If we have asked them to deposit some security money, then we have to refund security money to them and other related documents. Present the uh, medals, merit certificate, trophies to position holders, players, make the payments of officials and other bodies, return the borrowed things to the concerned ones, make a final press release report make a final event report and present to the authority, whatever authority is there, distributing the certificate of the participating team, thanks given, letters sent to those who help in the successful conduct of the tournament. These are the few points which uh, we have to look when we are at the end of the tournament. Learners, in this video we have learned about intra and extra moral competitions and the process of organizing a particular tournament. I hope you liked watching this video. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.